while all countries will feel the impacts of climate change. In some places, the impacts will be stronger, and in others, even small impacts can have big consequences. We sometimes call climate change global warming, but this doesn't mean that the earth is warming up everywhere in the same way. It's not like a pan of boiling water on the stove where the whole of the earth gets to the same temperature at the same time. What it does mean is that there's extra heat or energy in the atmosphere and in the ocean, and that this is changing our climate. It can make our weather more intense. So places that used to have strong tropical storms like in the Caribbean or in the USA are experiencing even stronger storms that are more destructive. We now have heavier rainfall than we used to do. And most of the time, our drainage systems and flood protections can cope with these rainfall events. But increasingly, even in a country like the UK, these get overwhelmed and we have severe flooding that damages homes and businesses. In countries that have less capacity to respond to these climate events, the impacts will be even greater. For example, where people live in informal settlements or do not have enough access to healthcare, the effects of even small flood events can be very serious for some people, particularly the poorest in society. All this means is that how resilient a country is to the impacts of climate change is shaped both by the kinds of impacts that we can expect in different parts of the world. For example, we expect to see sea levels to rise, so small islands are especially vulnerable to climate change. But it's not only about the impacts of climate change, it's also about the capacity they have to respond to risks and the vulnerability of their populations as a whole. In any one country, this resilience is shaped by both social and economic factors. Some groups are much more at risk than others. Even in the UK, a country with a large capacity for resilience, the elderly can, for example, be at more risk from heat stress than other groups. And so if we have a heat wave in the UK, as we occasionally do, it's most likely those kind of groups that will be vulnerable to its impacts. As climate change progresses in the future, there may be unexpected surprises or tipping points which create risks that we have not yet had to experience. The UK could face much colder winters if the ocean currents around us change, for example, and this would lead to changes in our climates that we haven't experienced for hundreds or thousands of years. We will need to use science to help us prepare for these risks and also get ready to adapt to different kinds of climate impacts in the future. And at the same time, we must make sure that we build the capacity of different countries in different parts of the world so that they are also increasingly resilient to the impacts of climate change.